Hey everybody, it's BDC. Thanks for checking out this video today and the channel. Today, we are doing more Valheim. Yes, because this is one of the best games ever made. <laughs> Even with it being so early access. Um, anywho, what we're doing today is we're going to run through a crypt in the swamps. Um, now, I've got my uh, guy parked over here at one of our camps um, that's at a uh, swamp island. And um, as you can tell right there, that's where the uh, swamp boss is. So we're kind of gearing up and getting ready for it. Um, anywho, what I wanted to do was document going through one of these crypts uh, to show you guys basically what all happens, um, what to expect, how to prepare for it, that kind of thing like that. Um, speaking of preparation, um, I would say the most critical thing is that you have some form of poison resistance. Now, these guys, these uh, poison resist potions, they can be made from, I believe it's one neck tail, some thistle, ten honey, and something else off the top of my head, and I cannot remember. And it requires um, a cauldron, uh, which is made out of pressed tin from a smelter, and then it requires fermentation. And you get all those ingredients together, you mix it up in the cauldron, you throw it into the um, fermenter, and then, I don't know, half an hour later or something, you have five or six of those potions. And each of those potions last, I believe it's ten minutes, uh, right off the top of my head. Um, but I would consider that to be a, criti a critically important thing that is needed um, for doing these things since in the swamps uh, we run into a lot of... Um, uh, poison critters. Uh, some of the droggers have it on them, the blob spit it out, that kind of stuff like that. Um, and if you don't have any poison resistance, it can kill you in a, in a pretty big hurry. Um, the next things would be to have um, some decent food that you're, you know, that you're carrying around. Like I have sausages that are made from uh, entrails from droggers uh, out here in the swamps. And then your standard cooked meat and then a mushroom or whatever to have a really good stamina bar and a whole lot of health. The other things I would say that you need, um, in this case, I'm taking two pickaxes uh, because of the, um, the the primary point of going through the crypts here is to get as much scrap iron as possible. And basically that is, especially if you're still using bronze stuff, that is the, um, the step up to getting up into iron. So you can start making iron tooling and iron weapons and things like that. So. That would be the uh, the primary purpose of, uh, of going through here. Now, as you can see here, I already have an iron pickaxe. We've already gone through, I think, four crypts or something like that, even though I still have some of my bronze gear. Um, and for the sake of this run, I'm taking two pickaxes because there's a lot um, to grab over there. Uh, let's see. Anything else off the top of my head? Uh, I don't think so. Um, basically, just make sure that you are fully repaired um, and... Like I mentioned earlier, you have some form of poison resistance. Um, it's probably good to go with a buddy and not do this solo unless you're really confident and really strong about it. Mm, and be careful. Uh, this is not something that a new player that's still in leather and has you know has basic weaponry or whatever can do, um, especially solo. Uh, so this is something for bronze or later, I would uh, suggest. So anywho, let's head on over. All right, so here we are. Um, we're at one of the crypts here in um, the swamps, and I'm going to get prepped and uh, ready to go in. Now, one of the things that I failed to mention is, is you need one of these swamp keys. And these things are gotten by defeating the Elder Boss, and I believe he's the second boss right off the top of uh, my head. He's the, uh, the one that's the uh, giant tree with the tentacles that shoot out and the whole nine yards and all that. Um, you need to defeat him to get swamp keys so you can unlock the gate. So let's go in. Here we go into the sunken crypts, or at least this one. Okay, so um, most of this is above water, but there might be parts where you actually have to go into the water. Um, but that's not too bad. Um, it also helps to wear this light right here. First catch of the day. And I think the mobs that are inside of here are slightly stronger than the roamers that are in the um, 
that are in the uh, general swamps. But one of the things I like to do, um, as I do with the uh, burial chambers and all that, is I like to stick to every left wall. Um, it makes it, you can do it with every right wall, just as long as it's one or the other, and it makes it easy to navigate these uh, little dungeons. So, here we have muddy scrap piles, and this is where we get our scrap iron from. So, I need to make sure that I've got room. I'm going to go ahead and pop a re poison resist potion, and I'll shove that out the way, and we're going to keep our stuff there. So, here we go. There's a lot of these in here. Uh, this is the reason why I bring two pickaxes. And even sometimes, two pickaxes um, with high durability, it's still not enough pickaxe to finish this place. Um, we're finishing all these crypts, so... Um, have upgraded pickaxes. There we go. We're going for every little morsel, every little bit that we can get. Um, I might not be able to tag that. But we're looking for scrap iron to draw. Leather scraps I don't care about. I want the iron. So, um, let's see. Going back to making poison resist potions. Uh, for those of you that are watching that are new to this, I mentioned you need um, a fermenter, some of those big fermentation barrels. Um, the hardest part about making it is not the cauldron or, or constructing a fermenter or anything like that. Uh, it's having enough beehives from King bees to make enough honey. Because you need 10 honey to make a batch of six of these things. Uh, and that kind of hurts, and it takes a while for those uh, beehives to uh, spit that out. And the problem with making them is, is you have to find... You have to find queen bees, and you can only find those out in... I believe it's in the meadows, uh, maybe in the Black Forest as well. That might be a thing. Those camps, um, those old torn down uh, houses and stuff like that, dilapidated camps, they'll have the uh, beehive in there. And then there's only a chance that when you knock the beehive down that you'll get a queen bee. Uh, so that's required to make that. So um, there's a little bit to this. It's, it's far more arduous in terms of getting your crap together to be able to come in here uh, and get these... Um, swamp crypts than it is to go into the uh, burial chambers. I like hitting these guys at range. It's less exposure to, to damage and poison and all that, you know, baloney like that. Um, so arrows and a bow usually not a bad idea. And then skill to be able to shoot, which apparently I don't have today. <laughs> there you go. One down. I feel a little bit better now. Let's see if I can knock some of this down. Oh, there you go. Sometimes there's spawners in there. Uh, and it in the case of this place, there is one. Uh, I just need to get it. Let's see if I can get in there now. Yeah, there's a spawner in there that spawned these guys. So, like my uh, burial chamber walkthrough, this is going to be a complete one. Uh, this may last half an hour, maybe longer, I don't know. Um, I guess we'll see. Uh, you know what? I'm going to this damn thing. There we go. These guys hit hard. So I'm using a an iron mace and a pretty uh, pretty decent shield here. It's a yeah, banded iron shield. Uh, but you can come in here with a decent bronze buckler uh, that's upgraded. It will do well as well. Uh, let's see. Boins, don't care about the ooze. There is our first piece of scrap iron. Ancient bark. Mm, that's found on the trees. Uh, outside, I'm probably not going to go out of my way to uh, to loot that because you can just go out there and chop those things down. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm already good on that. Oh, so, we're good. Let's see what else we got here. I like to stick to every left. Good idea to be shielded through all this. That goes to a dead end. All right. So we're clearing every left wall, and we'll eventually have this thing systematically done. Sometimes these uh, these scrap piles that we're getting iron out of uh, dead end into nothing. They're in the blocked off areas. But you wind up taking a bunch of these things out. So don't be surprised if you're in here for a while, whacking away on your pickaxe. Um, it's honestly really a good way to uh, work your pickaxe skill up.
The swamps in this game creep me out. They have done such a good job just making them so... Ugh, I don't know what the word is. The gross are disgusting. All the sounds, uh, difficult to traverse, the beaches, just every bit of it. Made, made them really creepy. I, I mean, now I'm at the point where I feel much more uh, comfortable going through them, but still, you know, um, I'm only slightly nervous right now being in this place, uh, but I think I can do it. I uh, prep with my uh, potion, uh, my uh, poison resist potions and all that ahead of time, knowing what I was going to get myself into. And I also built, uh, and I did not mention this in the uh, prior section of this video, I also built a uh, long ship, uh, and that's one that requires 100 iron nails, so you have to have already been through one of these to get enough scrap iron to make 10 um, pressed uh, iron bars and uh, your smelter. Um, and that thing has a storage uh, for 18 slots on it. So it'll be a lot easier to truck all of this stuff back up to um, our area up here to get it all smelted down. The smaller boats, uh, forget about it on the raft. You can't do this on the raft. There's no way you can carry this raft. You have to have multiple people. But the smaller boats, the uh, carve, I believe it's what it's called, um, it requires, or it has rather, uh, four storage slots. So that's 120 scrap iron. And I've already been whacking away at this stuff for a little while. I've got seven. I will probably wind up with a few stacks of it out of this. So ample storage ability is a, uh, a thing unless you're uh, Superman and you can swim across the channels um, between islands <laughs> or what have you. Okay, so I believe these two guys are cleared, so let's go through here. I'm wondering if this is going to be one of the smaller ones or one of the bigger ones. Here we go. Yeah, you see me. One of the best weapons you can get from all of this eventually, um, not by directly looting it or anything, uh, is the Iron Mace. This thing is just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic weapon. Okay, so that was a dead end. Let me go make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, that's our entrance. We're going to start from the left. Sometimes you miss some of these things and there's a blockage there and that opens up into a... Uh, a whole different one. So, all right, sticking to the left over here, poking around. This is water that goes into nothing. That's right. This one's done. This might be one of the uh, smallest trips I've ever done. Okay, and into nothing. All right, well, it looks like crypt number one might be finished. Let me uh, just double check and make sure I'm not on drugs here or anything. Okay, so we killed our Draugr just a second ago. Yep. Okay. That's script number one. Um, I'm going to go check and see if I can tag a second crypt because I want to flesh this out a little bit more and put a little bit more action into this. So, be back shortly. Alright, so here we are at our second crypt. Um, I'll end up getting lucky and finding one right nearby. So, in fact, the one that I came from, I think, is right there. So anywho, um, we're going to head in and we're going to check it out and see what we get. The uh, the load I got, um, the little bit of iron I got out of that was nowhere near satisfactory enough for me. So let's head in to number two and see what we got. Okay, so we got one open room over there. Yellow mushrooms just like the other burial chamber. Uh, let's see. All right, I'll go ahead and open this one up. But not with a mace. We're going to do it instead with a pickaxe. <laughs> and I'm hoping there's nobody with uh, a bow back there that's going to try and tag me. Yep, we're going to be hot in this room here too. Try to do as much from range through here as possible. Let's crap that to deal with. There you go. You're dead. 
So even though this is a dungeon, take a bow. Have plenty of arrows. Alright. I'll go ahead and pop another one of these guys. Ten minutes on this one. So we've gone through our second poison resist potion. There still can be little pieces that are sitting on the ground that you can mine that can still yield some of that scrap iron. So we're at nine right now. And let's see. And we're pretty persnickety about trying to get every little last bit. You never can tell what you get out of it. Okay, we're going to have action in there. Stick into left wall. There we go. That one's going to be a uh, dead end, but that's fine by me. So I've been at this for a little while. My iron pickaxe is already at that. So what's going to stop me is either, and I think that's a, yeah, that's a grade two that's been upgraded once. What's going to stop me if, um, if this place is still full of, uh, scrap iron to get. It's going to be the, uh, both the pickaxes being dead um, and my inability to be able to uh, uh, finish this up. So that might be a thing. Okay. I have ten so far. And one of the things about scrap iron, when you smelt it down, it is a one for one uh, for iron bars that it produces. So uh, it's a good, good trade. It's a little bit heavy. Um, in a place like this, I would recommend having this, however you pronounce that, belt that you get from the uh, trader, I think it's 600 or 900 gold or somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, and it'll increase your uh, total weight that you can carry from 300 to 450, so that's a, a pretty big deal, especially when you're carrying uh, raw ore like this, which is heavy. Yeah, I hear you guys in there. If I can get a peek as to what they got in there. Maybe. Okay. I think I hear a blob bouncing around in there. Yep, there's one right there. We got poison resist up, so I'll just melee him to death. Not really worried about him. Those oozes can be made, um, or used to uh, make... Uh, kind of grenade. I haven't done it yet, but I've uh, looked at it. So that might be kind of fun to try someday. Just not up at that point yet. I'm uh, still transitioning on my game here from bronze to iron. And I've got some iron stuff made. I've got a pickaxe. I've upgraded it once, like I mentioned earlier. And I've got the long ship that I made for the uh, cargo for being able to run proper freight uh, across the ocean. And, uh, let's see, the iron mace and one banded shield uh, that we've got. But otherwise, um, I have a list of things I want to make. Um, I'm ready to upgrade out of this bronze armor into uh, iron, uh, I think it's iron scale mail is what it is. Uh, and it makes you uh, uh, a little bit more durable. has a higher... Uh, armor class to it and everything, or armor rating, rather. Yeah, where are you at? A lot of iron in this one. There you go. There's a brother right there. A couple of them, it looks like. Yep. Let's see if I can pull him in here. I can knock this area out and give him a place to walk. Okay. Hey, buddy. Right, one down. Some of these guys are armless. It's kind of fun. And he is just... Oh, damn. There's a spawner here. So the spawners are a thing you have to be uh, careful of in here. And they'll spit out all these uh, Draugr dudes. And I'm having a bit of a stamina issue here. We'll take the hit on that just to kill this prick and die. One other thing I carry with me, although I don't uh, really use them a lot in here, are these uh, 
little uh, minor healing potions. Um, wouldn't hurt to have those as a precaution. Uh, I can't recall right off the top of my head what it requires to make those things, but those are still something to, uh, to keep in mind um, as something that you could have in your arsenal, I guess. Okay, six amber. Fellows, really trophy. I don't care about the trophy. They did such a good job making all of this just so creepy and so gross. Like I was saying earlier, the uh, the, the uh, ambiance of uh, the swamps is just really well done. It's dark, it's gloomy. They're, they're a pain in the butt to traverse on the foot. Everything is great about this place. <laughs> we have this house built here as our uh, staging point. Uh, we call it Desolation Point. We have a portal, and, you know, a little uh, landing ramp for boats, and, you know, and all that stuff. But it is just, I do not like being here. Um, <laughs> I do not like being there. This is just so, it's just so gnarly and gross. Uh, let's see, this iron pickaxe is about toast. I'm keeping the entrails, and I would prefer to keep the thistle that's found from the outside. Because that's used in a, a few different recipes. I'm hoping one of my foods run out, and if I get desperate, I'll throw either the coins out or the mushrooms, one of the two. Because I want more than one stack of iron out of this. Like I said, I've got my boat here, and I'm ready to uh, I'm ready to take as much iron back as possible. Oops. If this one's large enough, I may have to come back, um, come back to it. So if that's the case, then I'll add one more chunk to this video. And I'll skip uh, going back to the house and doing repairs and sorting inventory and all that. Place. So that might be coming up. Just don't know yet. Get there. There we go. All right. So far we have what is that? Twenty-three. Good. This one's a blocked off one. So this terminates this room right here. So in my yeah, Valheim videos that I'm making here, I'm starting to make jokes at the beginning about how good this game is. Um, I just, I don't think there's anything about the game that we don't like yet. Uh, and our group is usually pretty picky about uh, about stuff. We usually find something that we don't like about a game, and so it goes from really fun to sometimes fun and having to tolerate certain aspects of it. But so far, um, this game, even in its in the grand scheme of things, infancy, uh, given the fact that it's, what, version 0.146 and it's mega early access, it's, it's what, I think five guys working on this, uh, this game's magnificent. It is just so good. It not only tickles that itch for a, a good survival game, um, but it's like, I mean, golly, the crafting is well done. The... Uh, the combat is magnificent. I mean, just every bit of this game is just so good. And I cannot say enough good things about it. Okay, in the chest here, we're getting chains. Those are important. Uh, those are important for loot. Or for crafting, um... Hell, they do something. I can't remember. It's Iron Age stuff, but... Eat those. Uh, and then nice uh, little bonus of uh, poison arrows in there. Okay, so I need to find something to sacrifice here in my inventory. Um... Uh, probably that. So I'll start a second stack here since I'm running out of room. And let's see, what do we got here? Why am I not able to run? Am I over encumbered? I am, I wonder. Okay, alright, I may have to come back to this then. Okay, so I'm at 445 weight, and I'm gonna have to come back here. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, chop this up a little bit. Uh, so far, you guys have gotten a yeah, pretty good, pretty good run through of what this is uh, about. But I am going to complete it. So let me skip over some of the boring part, running back over to the house and getting repaired, dumping some of this crap off, whatever. So we shall be back shortly. All right, so we're back and I dumped all my stuff off. Got re-upped. And repaired. Let's head in. See if we can finish this one up. 
So I wound up finding two more uh, crypts that were out here uh, from running back over. And I may go check them out later, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to keep it uh, just to these two that we're doing here. I think this entire area is already clear. Yes. Okay. And there we go. All right. We had already started on... Let me look. Nope, we're still in the middle section. Okay, good. Clear, clear, clear. Yeah, I don't care about the trophy. I'm not going to hang it up on the wall. Although it would probably look uh, look good uh, above the uh, front door of that uh, <laughs> the uh, house. <laughs> we're right over here. Here we go. That one's going to be a yeah, dead end at least. Uh, I'd love to walk out of here with two stacks of scrap iron. That would just make my day. that one. Let's see, come on. Sometimes you have to get a little bit creative here. There we go. I uh, got a little bit in there. All right, I'm gonna forget that one. So let's see, what do we have so far? We have nine, uh, but I think I uh, grabbed a little bit already out of here. This one's going to be a hot room. So I need to make sure that I don't forget to pop my uh, poison resist. I almost had to earlier when we were around uh, in between the uh, house and the uh, cooks out here. There's a couple of those big giant poison blobs, the uh, brown ones that were floating around and bouncing around and stuff. And they're heavily poisonous. And when you kill them, you think they're dead and they split them to two of the smaller green ones, which are poisonous. Let's see. Yep. Can't get a hit nothing, buddy. Come on, stick your head out. Those little goofy grenades would be handy right about now. There you go. Probably going to be another critter in there. Here? Nope. Just the one. All right. So I'm hanging on to entrails. I'm dropping leather scraps. Uh, they seem to be pretty proliferate in these um, scrap piles. The uh, entrails are used to make these sausages right here. Um, for those of you that uh, have not graduated up to that point that are unfamiliar with it, um, as compared to cooked meat, uh, 40 health, 30 stamina, 2 HP per tick. These are 3 HP per tick. 1600 second duration, so that's good. 60 health, 40 stamina. And they require thistle, um, which is that glowing material that you find in both the swamps and in the uh, Black Forest, as well as raw meat and these entrails from these Draugr guys. So we hang on to those. They make for a, uh, a really damn uh, good food source. Um, and it'll pop your uh, total hit points up a good clip. So. Taking to every left. Yep. That's gonna be hot in here too. Got this punk right here. There's a spawner right there. He's in the lead. Okay. They're a little tougher, they hit harder, more hit points. You run into them uh, in here on occasion. So grab our yellow shrooms because we eat those. Okay, something I want to show you. There's a mob inside of that uh, scrap pile there, and yeah, he was just whacking at me. 
There's the marker for the swamp boss. So you run into that, run into that uh, in here as well. The amber pearls. I don't know if I'll grab those. Cannot recall which is which yields more money um, when you sell them to the trader. But amber pearls and amber, grab those. If you find any rubies, grab those. And that guy I'm going to ignore because I'm going to take this one out real quick. Finish this pile up. So, Withered Bone, I believe, is used to, to uh, spawn the uh, Swamp Boss. Uh, but I've been dropping those because I'm not handling any uh, boss mob stuff on the uh, server. Oh, come on, get that one. There you go. And a little bit right there. I even have a pearl. Yeah, I do. Okay, grab that. Oh, it's annoying. What if I can hit him? Nope. You know what I might be able to do is this. Yeah, there we go. Come on. There you go. Wham! So, I think it's the second or third time I run into that. Some of those dudes, they get stuck in there. See if you can drag him out, hit him in the head, and then stick up, and then kill him. Again. So far, I'm a lot more satisfied with this particular crypt than the uh, the first one that we went through. That one was pretty classic. <laughs> I didn't have much to it. Uh, this one's uh, quite a bit better. This one's a lot more typical. Hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Alright. Poison resist. Let's see if I can hit him. Uh... Yep. Best to avoid melee combat if you can. Although, if you have to, go wild. Whoops. I did not mean to hit that. that was my last uh, heal potion. I didn't mind to hit that, but whatever. I guess it means I need to pick up some more. Am I already full up? I'm full up again. Holy smokes. Okay, so let's see. What to drop? I have a chest in here. I'm going to use this real quick. Alright. I don't really think... The coins can weigh a little bit, but not a lot. Yeah, it was an insignificant change. Um... Alright. Well, cool. Let's go into yet another part of this. So... I'm definitely going to finish this. I want uh, this to be in the entirety of the uh, video here. So, I'm going to head back again, drop all this crap off, and then come back. So, be back in a second. Alright, so we are in here for the third time. Hopefully it's the last time for this crypt. Um, that will have been two crypts that we have uh, nailed out here on this. And hopefully it gives a fully fleshed out, accurate portrayal of exactly what's to be expected when uh, coming in here. So had to go back and repair twice, and I don't want to do it again. So, Poison Resist Potion is up, and that's what happens when you get hit with it. When you have the resist up, it's not going to kill you. It just kind of <laughs> tickles you a little bit, I guess. Let's see anything else in here? No. Got the entrails and some more iron here. This one's been a very good trip. I'm uh, very happy with this one so far. So let's see, anything to drop. The scraps for the stupid trophy. Most important is that scrap iron. So once I'm done with this, um, I will do one last little clip at the very end and go over the totals that I got and then um, try and look at the uh, amount of time it took. I'm going to guess in, in total an hour maybe. So you can spend a, uh, a good chunk of time out here. And it's not just um, the being in the crypt and whacking away with a pickaxe uh, that goes into the total. It's also the running back into the camp and, you know, and repairing and getting your uh, your comfort uh, rested buff. Not your comfort buff. Your uh, rested buff back up, which is what I did. So I had to sit there, uh, cook food, and, you know, and a few little things like that that you do. 
There you go, staging camp. Good, not a dead end. I want more of this. You better not be full up again. Okay. So I'm gonna make sure in the description down below that I put in um, my recommendations, uh, necessary requirements for doing this. Um, so everything's listed in there, so we'll have to you know, fast forward through the video to try and find it or whatever. Um, and I need to make sure that I mention that belt, because we're carrying heavy ores and it uh, encumbers you really, really fast. Now, if you're in here with a couple of buddies, it's not anywhere near as big of a deal, but this is kind of more intended for uh, solo gameplay. But with multiple people, is it a it is a, a good trade-off. The only thing is, is they're going to want to you're going to want to keep some of the iron. So, <laughs> like, no, I'm in here and I want every bit of it. This is a uh, solo operation. I truck my boat over here. I'm going to go through a few of these things. And I'm going to take a butt ton of this stuff back and smelt it down. Build my armor, make me another shield, whatever. Okay. Get in there. Sometimes these last bits are a little hard to get. There you go. Alright, seven so far. There we go. Good. Every left wall. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna wind up the piles of those bones. Okay. Is that it? Did we finish it? I think we did. One last quick check and make sure. That's nothing. I don't think I did. That was the right door. Yeah, this has all been done. Okay, good. Cool. Alright. Well, let me uh let me find the exit out of here, and then once I do, we're going to run back. Don't get lost in these things. If you have that little twinge of uh, claustrophobia, it kind of sucks. <laughs> anyway, okay. I'm going to run back, and then I'm going to get a tally of everything that we have gotten out of this, um, just to give you guys a, uh, um, a proper impression of what's to expect out of this. So, see you in a few minutes. Alright, so we are back at our... Uh, House here, our camp, and let's see what we got. So, out of that, basically everything I've collected, I'm stuffing in here. Uh, don't care much for the uh, ooze or anything. Let's see, our primary that we got here, we got 78 iron scrap ore out of those two crypts. Now, the first one was the small one, and then the second one was what I would consider more the normal size. Um, some thistle from running around back and forth, which is always good. 30 entrails, 70 gold coins, 12 amber, and then 4 of these chains. So, not a bad haul, um, considering, and I had no idea how long it was. I wasn't keeping up, uh, keeping track with the, with the uh, timer or any of that stuff. But, yeah, that was a pretty good haul. Um, so, I hope that kind of gives you guys an idea as to what to expect. Um, if you're earlier in on the game and you're just getting into bronze or if For some reason you're feeling daring and you're in leather and you stumble into the swamps and find a crypt It's assuming that you've gotten the uh, the elder boss the second boss down the big tree guy um, And you have a swamp key and everything Go with friends uh, Don't do this alone because you'll die in there um, This is not an early game thing um, You need to be a little bit better uh, equipped for it um, and as far as my recommendations on what to carry, two pickaxes, uh, try to get them upgraded if you can. Um, full disclosure, like I admitted earlier, I already made an iron pickaxe I did yesterday, and uh, I got it upgraded one notch, so it has a decent amount of durability. But a good upgraded bronze pickaxe will work just fine. It will work in here. Uh, in fact, I think it's designed uh, to be used for something like that. 
I don't know if the antler pickaxe will work or not, the one that you get from the uh, the first boss, the giant deer guy or whatever. Um, but have ample food. Poison resistance potions is a must. So you basically need to have a camp or a house that has beehives and, and fermentation barrel and all the stuff to be able to make that honey, you know, and all that jazz. And then already be uh, pretty confident running through the black forest picking up thistle because you need a decent amount of that. Uh, anything else? Um, I recommend a decent shield to take the draugers. Um, really any, anything else in there. A good blunt weapon. I like the iron mace, although I used the bronze mace for a long time. So that's pretty much it as, uh, as far as recommendations. Um, well, the belts and little head like thing since you're in a dungeon and it's dark in there that you get from the merchant so the total of that I think is over a thousand gold so you've already kind of worked up to this point to be able to do this but anywho um, hope you guys enjoyed it um, questions or comments leave them down below as always and hit those like and sub buttons if you haven't already please and that's it for me so hope you all enjoyed it have a good one